if the Scottish Government doesn't bring in legislation to protect our seabeds, it's only a matter of time before they're all trashed. How do we explain that to the generations that have yet to come? I mean, divers can, uh, are the eyes of the, the public, and we can see with their own eyes the, the damage that was being done. I really learned to know about all the different types of habitats that were in our waters and all the different animals that lived within them. All kinds of crustaceans, crabs, lobsters, etc. Um, dozens of species of fish, cephalopods um, like octopus, squid, uh, cuttlefish, uh, anemones all over the place. And also around these creatures you have all different other sea lives. So you would have scorpion fish swimming over the tops of them. And when you go burrowing under kelp, all these species all come out. You do need more people to see and touch the environment we're talking about, which has to be divers, and that's probably the problem in trying to spread the word. I've been diving and normal seabed, normal sea wall, normal life, and suddenly you come to areas of uh, seabed that's been dredged, uh, and yeah, the, the, the difference is quite distressing. And I now see bits of bed which were fine before, and they've just gone. And seeing the change from sort of well, fertile ground if you like, you know, tons of different species, loads of um, sessile organisms just sitting there on the bottom and then literally a line in the sand where a dredger had gone through and loads of broken shells, lots of dead animals. Seeing the area destroyed, it's a real shame because that's the nursery, that's where juvenile scallops grow. So damaging those areas is totally counterproductive. Dredgers, for every hundred pounds of scallops they catch, destroy over thousands of pounds worth of biodiversity. We should be doing far more than what we're doing now. We're more or less doing nothing. It shouldn't be that you have to find something rare to protect that area. The whole area should be protected in the first place and you should be able to prove that you can do something without damaging it. We seem to do things backwards. Get informed. You've got to get informed. There's not enough people are involved in this. We, as the general public, have got to force the politicians to do something. I love seeing it, you know. I want my children to be able to go diving as well. I want them to see what I see. And if dredging and trawling is not curtailed in any way, then I, I just can't see them seeing the same amount of life that I see. save our seas, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Look after what we've got. I think this pretty much says it all. Why should we have to be fighting to protect this? You know what I mean? They should be already be protected. It's, it's a no-brainer, uh, no if you ask me.